Uh, now I'm going to talk about choosing a seasonal ornament to to uh, mould and cast. Uh, as you can see, uh, from this Buddha, um, there's a few things to watch out for. You've got your undercuts, um, which are bits that go under, hence the name. Uh, and what you're really looking for is something that's like an pyramid shape, where it's uh, big at the bottom, small at the top, so you're literally peeling the latex away. So, um, if you could imagine uh, peeling this, you know, putting more pressure to get it over certain things, it does stretch, um, and it can be a little difficult to get off. Um, the next thing you have got is holes. As I said earlier, you need to pull it right off. So, if, the, if, the, if I left this hole, then it would be... Um, there'd be a massive uh, gaping hole when I'm pouring uh, whatever medium you choose. Uh, in this case I just used blue tech when uh, painting the latex on it and you can see how it's come through in the final uh, product there. Uh, later on this is the fiberglass which the fiberglass mother mould which uh, helps the uh, ornament from deforming uh, while um, casting it. Um, also needs to be fairly flat because in total that's where you'll be uh, pouring your medium such as concrete um, so that's another thing to look for um, so um, it doesn't have to be this big and choose little ones um, fragile bits if something's sticking out you know it'll probably snap off when peeling it off so uh, you know, yeah, I'm going to show you how to make good idea. One of your favourite ornaments. Uh, okay. Uh, and replicate it in uh, whatever medium you choose: chocolate, candle wax, ice, plaster, um, whatever you fancy. But in my case, concrete. Um, what you will need are is some vaseline to protect your mould. Um, it, you know, because the latex could eat into it. A some latex uh, bought from the hobby craft, or in this case, I bought online from MBFG. Uh, five liter, very free money. Um, some thickener is uh, recommended, which I'll show you how to later on. Um, a paintbrush or a little paintbrush, depending on your mould. Um, which can be bought, bought from cheap stores. Uh, pen and paper, just to uh, tell you how many layers you need, how many layers you put on there, because it's easy to, to uh, forget. Um, some old clothes, because if the latex gets on there, it's very, um, you can't get it off. Um, and last but least, the ornament that you want to re recreate here. Um, as you can see I've already put some layers on here so just pretend that has nothing on it it's just a simple dog with his bone um, and of course you need um, a non-porous flat surface in this case I've got a bag um, protector down the bottom you could use a mirror a cat map mat um, anything that's uh, non-porous Hang on. Talk about preparation of your ornament for for moulding. Uh, as you see, I've chosen this dog here. I've already put on some coats, um, and so just you know, pretend that there's, it's just concrete. It's, you know, underneath it's just concrete dog uh, with this little bone there. Uh, as I talked before, it's quite wide at the bottom. Uh, there's a big undercut here, um, so. When I come to demold it, it will be um, yeah a bit of a struggle, but should should be okay. Uh, you want your flat surface, a mirror or um, a plastic bit here. Uh, you want your latex, um, and one thing before we start, it's latex is suspended in an ammonia solution, uh, and this does stink and uh, not very good. Um, advisable to wear gloves, maybe if you're sensitive to it. Uh, so well ventilated room. Um, so I am just going to pour it into my container here, um, and then 
then using the brush, literally just paint it on like so. Um, trying to talk and uh, do this at the same time. Um, what you're looking for is about 15 to 20 coats um, taking on average uh, 12 hours to dry uh, so you could do one in the morning one at night uh, and the more coats uh, the better the stronger and the longer your mold will last for um, Yeah, and if, if, if you want to start with a thin coat, because that's the layer that gets all the detail from your your ornament. So, um, a thin coat definitely start off with, even to the point of thinning it down in some water. Um, and just making sure you get it into every nook and cranny. Uh, some of them are uh, really hard to uh, find. And what you need to do is also create what's called the flower bones, which is this bit round the bottom. This will ease with uh, moulding at the end and uh, just keep it secure. So you want to build up a layer just at the bottom, yeah, you know, uh, so you can use that to help you build it. Uh, um, so yeah, just little at a time, let it dry, time, and then uh, paint another mould on, and another layer on it, and after each uh, layer is up, if I let just to wash the brush, I'll put sure in cold water to prevent it being clogged up from the latex, uh, from leisure layers, and if you have any left over in here, place it there the back, in here, for um, uh, so, so yeah, do uh, wash that brush. Uh, also, with case of the uh, also uh, what it does work on the tin it dig uh, the latex. So it says things up to um, so with the thickness reduces the but that thin area across the these of the latex. So the property cut later comes with definitely first uh, coats just to use tin just use latex um, and then you can. Be is a bit more than just gives a bit of that little coverage a bit more to get thicker uh, it'll um, be quicker and uh, I do believe, believe that is it that. okay you're joining me back um, as you can see I've done 12 layers and it's mainly because um, I'm running low in latex so I'm going to go and see what Okay, so preparing the mould, um, I've tried to split the dog in half, going down here, up to his uh, bottom of his nose, and then in, in between there. So it's gone out at a little angle, so i tried my best here. What I've done is put some Vaseline on there to uh, to help uh, release the fiberglass when it's set, uh, but you have to wash up quite quickly because it does eat into the latex. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is put some plasticine around here to get a good seal. Uh, you don't have to, it's just uh, I thought I'll, I'll try to do it the proper way this time and uh, not do it, so I'll just do that quickly. The modern half, I'm uh, going around using plasticine just to seal it up so I can get good seal on it. Uh, plasticine to help ease removal. Um, Fiberglass it is strands of fiberglass, those are strands together so they come loose over the table uh, in the airway, good for definitely masks, um, definitely um, <coughs> gloves because when you mix the resin it's sticky um, and should really wear masks but because I'm outside it's alright. Uh, so measure out roughly what you need in terms of um, <coughs> so fiberglass mat, it's better to go over to do it than not and the next thing we're going to do is mix up our um, resin here. I've already put some dot drops of hardener in there and the resin in here, so just to give it a swish. And hopefully it's enough to set it, but you just have to really just coat it so it's fighting from one side and just really saturate the uh, the fiberglass. 
Um, uh, just make sure you. This is quite thick fiberglass. It goes by scram, uh, gram per square meter. So the more denser it is, the more um, uh, stronger it will be. should get to the stage where it's so saturated that if you t try to touch it, it, it would just break apart. So once uh, you've got it that wet, you can you have to leave it in place. Um, if I keep doing this, just get a good seal down here. Remember, this is, all this is doing is just uh, supporting it in all, in whatever medium you choose. The car needs to wait to fall out mold, so it doesn't have to be um, perfect. Um, so, yeah. Just need a tiny bit of dump off. So, or, drop of this. Give it a mix. Just two the final inches here. The water. Yeah, you know, with the uh, yeah, sim the latex um, you need to create a um, small a flare right there, but not off the final um, not off I've got a more of a yeah, fiberglass but you can uh, leave your holes in us and then do that later on. So yeah, just I'm doing here. Use it. It's one much of them. You can uh, so use up just the whole lot. So make sure there. Okay, I'll leave that for. Um, so I'm going to drive for two hours, and now I'm back over and um, I turn it the process and create a shell. Repeat the um, other side with the shell. Once you want it, it hardens. Uh, Keep poly so if you want to cut some methods, uh, you get home, tone, if you're not bothered to clean it, if and you just uh, leave a new brush the use up two hours. It's a uh, set I've ripped that out. So what we're gonna do is take hopefully this will just peel off. Enough, um, enough thickness. 
uh, has a few bronze rock solids and maybe a bit of polymer. Anyway, so I'm just going to put loads of this stuff on so it doesn't stick. you're first finished and you can't get these two bits apart it's uh, really annoying so that's all the fiberglass covered I'm just going to do the dog quickly some holes in down the flanges and then uh, sanding it down and um, casting with it. Um, I've made them, um, I didn't leave enough for the, one of the ears around here so uh, it might be a bit... Uh, I've shoot the holes now, so now it's the moment of truth. Um, this should line up so when we put the uh, screws in it. So, you want to to uh, come in, uh, pierce the rubber up on the Okay. So, uh, so now we do have two bits of um, fiberglass which I'm just going to cut round the edges here to get rid of the, uh, the loose bits. Just go around 
is Charlie, yeah. And yet, a, uh, and also, five is down the station But, I'll carry on with that thing, but, but we'll, yeah, what we're going to do later, we mold the, the dog here. See, uh, how easy the dog truth, and see, a moment of, um, It comes off easily, as you see, quite um uh, in the head with to just use it away. Just going put latex being caught in it, so it just goes next step now. So next thing, uh, as you can next step you've got wash for the dog, and then if it's to give it um, yeah, so um, to keep to keep care of your moulds, um, you wash them, dry them, and to keep them in a cool, dry, cool, dry place, dark place, and uh, put some talcum powder in them because the latex does stick to each uh, does stick if it's uh, allowed to stand with uh, for a little while. So. Okay, so I'm going to go and give this a wash, um, put some talcum powder in, you can see it's sticking to itself already there, so, um, and uh, sand this down, and uh, yeah, the next step is to cast it. Okay, so, <coughs> uh, just going to make up the concrete, um, I normally use up uh, one part cement to just under five parts sand and uh, mix it till it's quite thick so uh, for the dog um, um, okay so I have got uh, my um, fiberglass with the dog mold inside it all um, bolted up just supported there gonna mix up some concrete um, yeah so just spooning it in there and what we need to do as well is uh, once we've got a bit in there just need to tap it just to let the air bubbles escape and it to reach into the crevices so I should just continue doing that until the top I've uh, filled that to the top, banged it down going when it filled halfway and then bang it again and uh, try to wedge it in to keep it level. I'm uh, going to leave that to dry for about three days uh, and then uh, demold. Okay so uh, they're all uh, filled and I'll come back in three days and uh, shall see if it's working or uh, and uh, yeah hopefully uh, a dog and some logs. Okay. bubbles in it um, which I didn't like, knock it down enough but apart from that it looks good um, yeah 